what's going on everybody this is my 2014 mazda 3 and i made a five things i love about this car video so why not make a five things i hate about this car or just five things that you know i can actually pick at and i know these are so subjective so i'm just going to this video knowing that my problems aren't going to be your problems or any future owners problems um you might be like wow you're actually complaining about that stuff insane but you know what for the sake of making a video about five things i hate this is it i'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet and this one honestly is a big one this is probably the only actual um complaint i have about the car is the fact that the uh road noise the road noise is pretty bad and mazda is known for this and you can look into it a little bit um they just they just didn't put a lot of engineering from my understanding at least into being able to dampen the road noise a little bit and I do have some um, BFG G-Force um, Comp 2s on here, and they're an all-season tire. But yeah, as you can see, they're a little, a, a little aggressive for just you know standard commuter car. But the road noise is pretty bad, especially down here. Um, I travel from southern to northern Oregon pretty consistently, and up to Washington as well. And you know the roads are just they're just tough, and they are not. Um, the quietest of roads and obviously it's just depending on the material that they use there are some where you know you can have a conversation at this volume level and you would have an issue but i'd say about 80 percent of the roads are pretty loud and so for someone who does drive a decent amount on the highway that does bug me a, a, a fair bit and that's my actual biggest complaint about this car the rest are going to be kind of nitpicky uh the second one is and i don't know why this bothers me honestly is the fact that um, you've got cars that are made in Japan and you've got cars that are made in Mexico and I went to try to get brakes done and for whatever reason there's the hardest time figuring out what brakes you needed because it was was it from you know Japan or was it from Mexico and this one is made in Japan I'll show you it is dirty leave me alone made in Japan right there okay sick but for some reason, um, I don't know why that bugs me. Why are parts not um, the same across the board, whether they're made in Japan or Mexico? Um, either way, that's I know that's a little nitpicky thing, but that bugs me for some reason. Uh, the next thing is, okay, look, the car is black, right? The car is sleek. It looks good. Come on, there is nothing better than a clean black car. Let's be real, we, I think we can all agree on this. There's nothing better than a clean black car. This thing is beautiful and it sits right and I love everything about it. But on the other side of that, nothing gets dirtier faster or looks worse than a dirty black car. And that's pretty much the issue I've got with this. Everything shows on it in a previous video. I did show you guys I have some blemishes on it and they just show so much more. There's one right there. There's one right there. Um, there's just multiple on here. And every little thing you can kind of see right there as well. So pretty much that as much as I love the black car, um, <laughs> I just, when it gets dirty, you know, it, I don't like it as much. Next thing is going to be that the seats are uncomfortable after, you know, a long road trip. And I'm about... Sorry, my car's dirty, guys. I'm about 5'8 on a good day, about 170-ish pounds, give or take. And while these seats do hug you and they fit nice and they are comfortable and they and they you feel like you're you're being the car is embracing you. I don't know how else to describe it. It feels like the car is embracing you. Wow, it's terrible. Um after six or you know, six hours, four hours, three hours, whatever it is, sitting there, my shoulder, my left shoulder starts to hurt. And honestly, it could just be me. Um, I'm not the biggest guy. I'm not the smallest guy. So that does bother me a little bit. But like I said, nitpicky for the most part, driving around town or, you know, short little road trips between here and there. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, for the most part, seats are comfortable. It's just long road trips. And I do uh, spend a decent amount of time on the road. And the last thing is in here is that the sunroof. I'm going to close the door. The sunroof um, is not auto both ways. So, okay, look, auto, right? Hands off. 
but when you want to close it it's not and I'm pushing it all the way you gotta actually sit there and hold it which is honestly nitpicky but unless I'm doing it wrong I don't know nope I thought maybe if I just pressed it it would work but the fact that it's not auto I don't know why it has like all the cool features the car is just gorgeous and everything it does you know has the bows and the adaptive headlights and the LEDs and all this cool stuff but it doesn't have an auto uh, sunroof which I've had in cars that you know were made in the early 2000s but that's the last thing I would say it does bug me a decent amount overall not complaining about this car I still adore it um, like I said, those are just nitpicky things besides the road noise, which truly does bother me. And it could just be the tires. If I get, you know, less aggressive tires and more commuter friendly tires, it might not be an issue. But I did get those because I thought I had to drive in snow, but that's it doesn't matter right now. So anyway, that is five things I hate about my 2014 Mazda 3 S Grand Touring. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And I'll talk to you soon.